What's up all you punk rock and dudes indie dads? Toy Shiz here and I'm back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and this time it comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys. We're totally going to be checking out their brand new Cyberpunk 2077 Johnny Silverhands action figure and I absolutely love the packaging for this figure. I love the yellows, the blues, the blacks on the sides. It's just very much a video game-esque looking figure. Know nothing about the game? But I can tell you that I do want to play it now as a result of seeing this character. There are initially two characters in the first wave. There's also a variant, quote unquote, kind of sort of Johnny Silverhands figure. He will come with a gun and also a giant bomb and a bag. And that figure will be released later on. He was shown off at Toy Fair. But for now, it's going to be Johnny Silverhands and, of course, the main character V that you will play as during the game. 22 moving parts for each of these figures. Again, love the blues. This game is an interesting one. I saw the trailer a couple weeks ago, watched it again today. I'm excited to kind of check this out. Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and screen grab that. Again, I'm sure everybody knows by now this is definitely Keanu Reeves, so it's kind of cool to have a new Keanu Reeves figure on my shelf. So let's get him open. Let's check him out. Grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is the brand new McFarlane Toys Cyberpunk 2077 Johnny Silverhands action figure. Here's old Keanu playing yet again another Johnny character out of the packaging, and he looks Fantastic. I like the accessories. Very interesting, very cool accessories. You get a guitar, guitar strap, a bottle of quote-unquote maybe Ciroc uh, alcohol, and then an extra hand. And the guitar is really nice. I got to give it to him on that. I like the bottle of booze. Whatever, we'll just call it like a futuristic bottle of booze. And you also get a nice stand. It says model Johnny Silverhand, Cyberpunk 2077. The back inside packaging is actually really cool, and for some reason I managed to not uh, wreck it when I pulled the stand out. But McFarland Toys, if you're listening, uh, if you can, stop putting the, uh, the, the, the packaging so you can you ruin it, basically. You know what I mean? This is really nice background art, and I know a lot of people, including myself, when you see some good background art, you like to put the figure in front of it. I just uh, don't want to be ripping things and tearing things. You know, for the most part, maybe I'll end up cutting some of these posters out or kind of make it do, but just just as, a, a, as a, an idea, uh, if you can... Yeah, I would say stop putting the uh, the plastic on there housing the stand. But I think Johnny is, of course, the main standout figure. Gorgeous paint, gorgeous sculpt. This guy is amazing. Again, not really knowing much about the game. The game has unfortunately been pushed back. McFarland Toys is on time releasing these, but the game will be, again, pushed back until September. So, again, not much is known, but I think, in all honesty... These figures are kind of, they, they kind of sell themselves. These are interesting, cool looking action figures. Love the tattoos on the guy. Love his pants. The pants came out really nice. Like that detail. His boots look good. Always a good action figure when he's got good boots. But there's a lot of fun going on. You know, a lot of people have kind of alluded to the fact that, you know, this could be like a futuristic type Bill and Ted adventure, you know, things like that. Or Heck, I mean, use him as a, as a background character or a villain or a henchman, something like that. But all of his accessories fit well. His hands swap off really easily. And the guitar attaches to him, and you get a really cool punk rock guitar rocking Keanu Reeves figure. I mean, who knows what this guy is all about? The game, again, probably will tell us in due time. But you could admit, I could admit, yeah, this looks like a rather cool-looking character video game character and i just like what they have done here especially in the paint and all the little decos on his jacket his arm his tattoos things like that swap out the hands simply just give it a tug and it comes off it's snug but it comes off easily to where you can swap them out really nice if you're wondering if his glasses come off sadly they do not but he does hold his guitar with that new guitar hand the one thing i really wish that he did come with was that his alternate we'll say more flesh human hand, had a guitar pick or something like that. Maybe a couple extra hands overall for this guy. He would have really benefited from that, but I think that they did a great job in the accessories that they did give him. Those would be just be my minor suggestions, but a, a pick holding hand would have been awesome. But let's go ahead and look at the articulation more yeah, go depth. over the articulation for this guy. Simply just undo the strap for the guitar. 
And he just kind of uncurls right there. It's actually a really nicely detailed guitar. Lots of little stickers and insignias every which way. All of the strings, the chords, everything is painted nicely. And the back is a really nice, like a really nicely textured matte finish. So I think that's pretty cool. And then of course right here on the band it says Samurai front and back. And it works either if you want to attach it or not. So it looks good either way. But overall just a really nice accessory, nice paint. For Johnny Silverhands himself, the glasses, again, are not removable, but you can do the head to and fro. He does have quite a lot of hair in the back, so looking up, you're going to get about that much. If anything, he'll look down. Actually, good good range of motion there. And then for the body, now this is like a soft, see, like a really soft, squishy texture but it really lends itself to getting a good ab crunch out of it. And it does kind of fold the material just a little bit, but you get a really nice range of motion as a result, especially in going back. You can kind of see how everything kind of works inside there. So you don't want to go back too far, but it is interesting to see how much you can actually <laughs> get out of this guy. So I like that. I like that kind of new articulation that they're kind of implementing. There's a little bit of a underlying skeleton to this rubber mesh, so that's interesting. As far as his legs, he can get another good range of motion, much like the spawn figure that we looked at yesterday. T-joints, it goes all the way back, do the splits. So again, nice range of motion out of him. You just kind of have to sometimes push it all back in together. That's, I guess, maybe the one downside, but it all fits in, again, really nicely, so I don't have to worry about it too much. It does have butterfly joints. I like the skin texture on this guy. It goes from like a like lighter to a darker to a lighter. It's subtle gradation of skin color. I think that looks pretty cool. Now, with the range of motion that you get, and he does have rotation at the shoulder, which is actually pretty good. Nothing at the bicep, unfortunately, and he only has single jointed elbows on his robotic side. So that's a little bit unfortunate. I would have liked to have seen more, but it does rotate right here. He does have a couple wires sticking out of the back, a little bit of a sharp thing right there. And overall, really nicely sculpted detail. I like this a lot. I like the hands, the different hands. On this side, he does have double jointed elbows. He gets some good rotation out of the wrists. And I like how the tattoos are applied on this guy. Very, very cool to see. This side, again, just with the wrists and everything else, it's there, but I really wish it was both double jointed elbows on either side. He does have double jointed knees, which look pretty good. I mean, they a lot of people I don't think are too stoked just because it may not look the best right there, but at least the range of motion is there. And then he also has a toe articulation boot, which goes up and down, and I like that the pins are black. Didn't like the, uh, some of the DC Multiverse figures, just saying. And you will get some motion up, mainly just up and down. It kind of curves to the side, but this is a hard plastic right here, so that's the only thing it will kind of sort of hinder it, but not too much. And so I would say, overall, I really like the articulation on this guy. Yeah, it would have been good to have a little bit more here just to kind of have it match up better. But I like this new type of rubber. It just lends itself to a really interesting design and it works well. So I would say overall, if you're an articulation fanatic, I think you're gonna dig this guy. Now, Johnny Silverhands does actually clock in just below the seven inch mark, but he does line up really well with Previous of the new DC Multiverse, the new Spawn figure. Again, I picture this guy not knowing anything about the video game itself as a Batman henchman or, or something to that degree of villain, and he's going to look good kind of just displayed. You got a Keanu Reeves figure, you got a Vin Diesel figure, Spawn, yada yada, I think he'll look good. When it comes to matching him up with other companies and other brands, it's going to be kind of hit and miss. Again, falling under that, just below the seven inch mark, you'll find your niche with what characters kind of work well with him. I think the more McFarlane NECA toys will actually match up a lot better. He may be a little bit too tall for most, let's say, Marvel Legends figures. But if you got some old Spawn figures and such, got some weapons, maybe got a motorcycle or two. I think this guy is going to look great. And as I'd said, if you're a photographer, I think you're going to have a blast matching him up with other action figures, brands, things like that. I think there's a lot of humor to be had with this guy and a lot of also great photos. 
just because he looks good. The detail is there. The head sculpt is there. That looks like Keanu Reeves. I'm totally digging that. So I'm going to say that I definitely recommend this figure. He would have loved to have seen some extra hands for this guy, and I would have liked to have seen the double jointed elbows on his actual silver hand just to have some more consistent articulation. But if you are wondering where this guy is available now, he has begun shipping along with the rest of the Cyberpunk figures from Amazon. And then subsequently in the next few weeks, you can pick them up at Target, Walmart, GameStops, and the like. So be on the lookout if you are after this guy. I'm curious to know what you guys think about the video game. This figure, will you be picking either of them up? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Cyberpunk 2077. I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember that when a video game does get pushed back further and further and further, I mean, fingers crossed, I, I, I hope it turns out awesome. At least the figures came out great. And when they do... Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.